Lesson 9, Key Signatures, Part 2. So just as a quick review from our previous video, we learned that a key signature tells you what key the music is in and which notes receive sharps or flats. So last time we talked about the um, order of sharp. And so with the language, we can tell that, first of all, this is in treble clef. Um, and our two sharps are gonna be F sharp and C sharp which means that whenever you have an F written, that you're going to play or sing an F sharp. Similarly, if I had a C, then I would play or sing a C sharp. But I noticed how I said previously that it's um, the key signature tells you which notes receive sharps or flats. So that's what this video will cover. Um, so for example, let's say I have this in the key signature so this is a b flat and this is an e flat which means that whenever i have an e written that means i'm actually going to play or sing an e flat not not an e so the first thing that we have is the order of flats. So the order of flats, similar to the order of sharps, also has a pattern. But let's start by going through the um, order. First one is B flat. The second one is E flat. Um, then A flat. Then D flat. Um, then we have G flat. Then we have C flat, and finally we have F flat. So a nice acronym that we can use because um, the flats order is a little bit long is bead, gum, candy, fruit. It's a little bit weird, but it is very commonly used. Um, so let's look at this first example. Um, so we can just count, we can just see which flats we have. We have B flat, this is the B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, and F flat. So this is an example in your bass clef. Um, now we have an, uh, another example, except this time it's in treble clef. So let's try to see which um, flats that we have in our key signature using our acronym. So I have bead, and the G is gum. So we have B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. But how am I supposed to get from just a bunch of flats in my key signature to actually identifying the key that it's in? So your first step in identifying a key signature when you have a flat is to name all the flats. So let's look at this case. Um, we have a B flat, E flat, and an A flat. So let's just write that over here. B flat, E flat, A flat. Now we're gonna identify the second to last flat. So in our case, that would be this, right? So it would be an E flat. So that means that it's an E flat major. So to review, we have the order of flats and the three-step process. And the acronym that we use for the order of flats is bead, gum, candy, fruit. And our three-step process is actually really just a two-step process. You identify your um, flats and then you pick your second to last flat and that's pretty much it.